Shalom, business sisters. This is your brother Yahushua Ba. I want to give all honor, glory, praise to you. How about Shemi Yahushai? Peace, salutations to the whole full life scattered abroad across the four corners of the earth. I'm learning your teaching this gospel in truth and sincerity. Shalom. Today, I want to go over how the Father and the Son, they're not one entity. Yahushai, he's on the right hand of the Father, as the scriptures say. You know, Yahweh and Yahushai, you know, uh, they're two separate entities. But they're on one agreement. They're on one accord. You know, our Lord Yahweh Shai, when he was on earth 2,000 years ago, he would give glory to Yahweh and praises and honor to him. You know, Yahweh, you know, uh, our father, you know, Yah, it means uh, he, and uh, Hawa means exist. You know, he, he exists, or he, or he is. So uh, he is the, the power of the universe the power of our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So, so let's, let's start this off with the book of Matthew, chapter 7, verse 21. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. Yahushai, you know, um, Yah means he, Yahushai means delivers or saves, you know, so, so, Khan, Yahushai, he delivers, you know, so, so, Khan, you know, just like he is salvation, you know, he, he, he saves, so, 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 the world ignorantly calls him Christ, you know, as Yahweh. Which is the true and only name of the heavenly Father, but uh, the this world ing ignorantly calls him Jehovah or God. So yeah, uh, my Father, which is in uh, heaven, you know th this is a uh, possessive right there. My Father, you know, because when Yahweh Shai was on the world two thousand years ago, it was obvious the Father was in heaven, you know, th th in the spiritual realm. So, so, so Khan, you know, uh, on his throne, judging. So, so the, these, this proves right here, Yahweh and his son are, are two separate entities, you know, but, but on one agreement. And, and the kingdom of heaven begins with the believers, you know, in, in, in the gospel, in the 100% truth, you know, that believe in this, the volume of the book, the water baptism, so on and so forth, in the name of Yahweh Shai and water. You know, and, and they have this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, which is in the elect of the nation of Israel. Uh, Yahweh Shai, he said, the kingdom of heaven is within you. So let's get this right here. Let's move to Matthew chapter 10 and verse 32. Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men, him will I confess also before my Father, which is in heaven. You know that that's another possessive right there, and you know the the elect of Israel are are the ones that will confess, you know, uh, in, in him before men, you know, and keep the word of patience before men. Con. So so yeah, like, like I'm like I'm saying, you know, this also proves our Lord Yahweh Shai, you know, and, and Yahweh are two separate en entities, man. You know, so so because Yahweh Shai, you gotta know as well. He he's our mediator, and a mediator is one who acts in between two parties. Two parties would be us Israelites here here on earth, Yahweh Radzawi of the elect, and and, and the, the other uh, party would be the he heavenly Father, which is in heaven. You know, uh, Yahweh Shai, he's our mediator. He 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 is our intercessor. He 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 prayed and asked the Father to show us mercy. For 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 uh, our sins we committed, cause you know uh, we sin. So verse thirty three, but whosoever shall deny me before men, him I will also de deny before my Father which is in heaven. Yes, yeah, so you don't want to uh, deny Yahweh Shai, because uh, if if you deny Yahweh Shai, then you're also you know a divine deny slack you're denying the Father. So so you you, you can't. You can't deny Yahweh Shai. The difference right there, the, the, they're on one accord, but two, two separate enti entities, Salakia. 
Yeah, so this is verse. Uh, let's get this right here. Next chapter. It's Twenty-seven. All things are delivered unto me of my Father, and no man knoweth the Son but the Father. Neither knoweth any man the Father save the Son, and he to whomsoever the Son will reveal him. Yeah, so the elects are the only ones who are going to know Yahweh and Yahweh Shai in truth and sincerity. So it's gone. And then the, the Son will reveal it to them. Yeah, let's just get in the NLT. My father have entrusted everything to me. No one truly knows the son except the father, and no one truly knows the father except the son, and those to whom the son chooses to reveal him. So that's gonna it's gonna Yahweh Shai is gonna choose to reveal it to his elect. So Khan, this is a Matthew next chapter twelve verse fifty. For whosoever shall do the will of my father possessive which is in heaven the same is my brother and sister and mother yes yeah, so so the will of my father which is in heaven also further proving right here the point that yahweh and yahweh shai are two separate entities but on one accord so let's get this one it's colossians chapter one start at verse 12 he thanks unto the father which had made us meet so, you know, it means a suitable to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light. So, so uh, to be partakers through the blood of the Lamb, you know, who, who is our Lord and Savior. You know, in uh, the saints are the Israelites. That's the elect. You know, Psalms uh, 148 and verse 14 tells you that. So this verse 13, who had delivered us from the power of darkness and had translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. He delivered us from that darkness and brought us into that marvelous light, as the scriptures say. So, so Khan, you know, uh, in this scripture, you know, uh, right here proves, you know, that, that, that two separate entities, again, the father and the son, you know, two, two separate individuals as well. With the father and the son, right? A father is a father and a son is a son. You know, so the heavenly father and, and Yahweh Shai, the Lord, you know, the, you know, the, the son, the, they're two separate entities. Verse 14, in whom we, ha we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. And yeah, so we see right there, you know, through his blood, we have a redemption through, through the blood of the lamb. Like I was saying earlier, through the blood of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, by the grace of Yahweh, we now have been uh, justified by faith in, in Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. But we do not make void the law through, we, you know, through faith, we, we establish it, as it says in the book of Romans. You know, and, and we establish it through faith by rehearsing the righteous acts. So verse 14, and read it again. In whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. Yeah, and in sin, First John 3 and 4, sin is transgression of the law. So, so come verse 15. Who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature? Yeah, so see, Yahweh Shai, he, he looks exactly like the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. You know, uh, firstborn of every creature, you know, it's a, a John... The first chapter, Genesis, the first chapter, you know, so it's a con, uh, verse 16, for by him were all things created that in heaven, that in heaven, so like that in heaven and that in earth, visible and invisible, whether it be by, so like it, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created by him and for him. Verse 17, and he is before all things, and by him all things consist, consist, and he is the head of the body, the church, who is the beginning and the firstborn from the dead, and in all things, it's like that in all things he might have the preeminence. So, so yeah, he's, he, he, that body, that, that that's the church, you know, the, the elect, you know, 1 Corinthians 12 and Ephesians chapter 4, Yahweh Shai is the head of the, the church, the, that, that's that body, the elect. 
you know, and then that pre, you know, uh, this go, this going in that that he might have all the preeminence. You know, yeah, we refer to Psalms the second chapter. Come, on, let's let's get this verse nineteen. Continue on, for it is pleased that the Father that in him shall shall should all fullness dwell, having made peace through the blood of his cross, by him to reconcile all things unto himself by him. I say whether they be in earth or things in heaven. Yes, yeah, so like I was saying, you know, just precept on precept, proving your how and your how shy are are uh, two separate entities, but all in in agreement, in the same agreement. We know Christianity tries to pull this this false doctrine on a lot of the masses. You know, and they this is one they use with that. This is John chapter ten verse thirty. I and my Father are one. You know, this is talking about that they're on one accord. This is Yahweh Shai red letter. You know, and a lot of uh, Christians just they, they can't understand that. You know that that's they they're going against. The, the true doctrine, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Like we said, scriptures say we hate every false way. You know, so this ha this is just a, for edification's sake, you had to get into it. You know, Khan, because uh, Yahweh Shai, he, he has the same mind. He's on one accord. You know, like how the body of Yahweh Shai is supposed to be, like Paul said, you know, be on one, one accord and one mind. You know, uh, Peter said it as well, be on one in one mind, you know. So, 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 con, you know, you should look this up. Even on a, a Google, me and my father are one mean question mark. This means Yahweh Shai is saying he and God are in unity rather than declaring they are the same being or person. Yeah, so even these Christian scholars, they understand, you know, that uh, it's just, it's ultimately supposed to be mean you're on one accord. Yahweh Shai is saying they are the same essence, same power, same nature, and having the same intentions. Yes, like I said, you know, having that one accord. That's that's what it's getting into, you know, because cause that that's what this is. This is what the, even these Christian scholars they understand it that uh, you're you're on one accord, the same mind, you know, in uh, in nature, so on and so forth. You know, like I said, you know, it's 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 simply saying one accord. And many script scriptures go into this, and you know, it's letting you know that. But a lot, a lot of these uh, other uh, Christians, they just don't understand it. You know, for he that have ears, let him hear. Though many are called, few are chosen. So everything is meant to be how it's supposed to be. Man's goings is of the Lord, so not it's it's not for everybody. So we get to. Uh, John three sixteen, one of their favorites. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Yeah, and, and this is talking about Israelites. It's not bringing in other other nations to this uh, being saved. The only ones that are, are going to be saved and have everlasting life would be the elect. You know. Which would also also after that would be a great multitude, a number that we, we don't know, that we can't count. But this is clear, you know, uh, right here, proving the point that the two beings, Father and the Son, in the Scripture is is saying he he died for for the elect only of Israel, you know, and, and those who believe in him, you know, like Isaiah forty five and seventeen. I have a lesson on this, you know, if you want to check it out that. Uh, Yahweh I, I I went into salvation is only for Israel. You know, because only the elect are gonna truly believe in Him. You know, so 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 uh, cons get into this uh, world, world world just for edification's sake. World, and an apt and har harmonious arrangement or constitution, order and government. Yeah, so that that first definition right there is on point. You know, it's a specific group of people. You know, in uh, that group of people would be the Israelites. You know, just, just for edification, we wanted to get into that. Yes, yeah, so this, this John three sixteen is two separate beings, proved right here again. And like I said, a lot of scriptures prove this. So this, hopefully, this is quick and edifying, straight to the point. This John chapter five verse nineteen. Then Yahweh Shai, Slaki, then answered Yahweh Shai and said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, the son 
can do nothing of himself, but what he seeth the Father do. For what things soever he doeth, these also doeth the Son likewise. Yes, so it's two separate beings letting you know. Two separate entities. You know, they're not the same people, but they're on, but they're on one accord. So we continue on. For the Father loveth the Son, and showeth him all things that himself doeth. He will show him greater works than these, that ye may marvel. For as the Son raises up the dead, quicketh them, even so the Son quicketh whom he will. Verse 22. For the Father judges no man, but hath committed all judgment unto the Son. And so he gave all judgment to the Son. Yahweh gave it all authority, you know, to, to, to bring out judgment. You know, but, but the point is, it's just two different entities. Verse 23, that all men should honor the Son, even as they honor the Father. He that honoreth not the Son, honoreth not the Father, which he sent him. And so it's plain and simple. It's just like I'm saying, it's two separate entities. Yahweh gave Yahweh Shai the authority to judge and if you don't honor the son, Yahweh Shai, you, you're going off because you have to honor the son, Yahweh Shai, the same way you honor the father, Yahweh. You know, so so the, those Old Testaments onlys are going off, you know, because that's for you too. Y'all need to repent. You know, so, so, so Khan, you know, uh, this is also uh, letting you know, like, uh, that's why that's why you have to repent, you know, like like in that Matthew 10, if you, if you deny the son, you deny the father, you know, so, so yeah, that's why you got to repent, you know, and, and whoever is just saying that uh, the father and the son are one ent entity too, you got to repent, you know, to, to, to come back to the way, true ways and true doctrine of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai in, in truth and sincerity, because this is a, this all done, this is a labor of love, you know, they let the brotherly love continue. That's that's all that this uh is is centered around, you know. A open rebuke is better than secret love. You, you the, a rebuke was an ancient custom. So you got if you want to uh, seek the old past, you gotta be in that and be in that type of what, uh, mindset, you know. So 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 con. This is uh yeah. Also, someone commented on my page, you know. So that's why I wanted to get into this lesson too as well. That's why I hope it's edifying for you if you're watching this. You know, so this is Matthew chapter 24, verse, start at 36. This is, uh, verse 36. But of the day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my father only. That's possessive. It's clearly Yahweh Shai. Uh, is is letting you know this red letter that uh that uh the father knows he's letting you know you know uh i don't i know knoweth no man no not the angels of heaven but my father only only the father knoweth the time when uh when the end will be you know not even yahweh shy so it's the scriptures making it clear that it's two different entities so this is uh let's go to 26 Start at 36, the Garden of Gethsemane. The start of verse 36. Then cometh Yahweh Shai with them unto a place called Gethsemane, Gethsemane, Salaki, and saith unto the disciples, Sit ye here while I go and pray yonder. So, Khan, this, this was the night before Yahweh Shai was going to be crucified. Verse 37. And he took with him Peter and two sons of Zebedee, and began to sorrowful and were heavy. And said, and Saki, then saith he unto them, My soul is exceeding sorrowful, even unto death. Tarry ye here and watch with me. And he went a little further and fell on his face and prayed, saying, O my father, if if it be possible, let this cut pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou wilt. So so if uh, Yahweh Shai you know, uh, and the Father are 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 one entity. Who was Yahweh Shai praying to? So, so you you just have to use your common sense, like I was saying earlier. It's, you know, it's just not, it's not too hard to comprehend. Is what I'm getting there, because because we know that, you know, it, it's just clear to see see plain and simple. You know that in the scriptures that they are uh, two different entities, man. So so let's let's get this. First Corinthians. 11. 
started to talk. Be ye followers of me, even as I also am of Hamashiach. Now I pray to you, brethren, that ye remember me in all things. Keep ordinances as I delivered them to you. But I would have you know that the head of every man is a Mashiach, the head of the woman is a man, and the head of a Mashiach is God. So so this is the order right here, you know, that the, the head of Yahweh Shai is Yahweh. You know, the, this is that order. The man is over the woman, you know, Yahweh Shai is over the man. And, and, and like I said, you know, uh, so, so, so uh, you know, Yahweh is, is the head of Yahweh Shai. So, so, so con. You know, uh this is this is that order right there. It's clear to show that Yahweh and Yahweh Shai are, are two separate entities because Yahweh is is over Yahweh Shai, you know, and, and there there's many scriptures showing that they are not the same. So so con, you know, like Yahweh Razal, this was edifying. Wrap this up, it's Matthew twenty six and six. Now, when Yahweh Shai was in Bethany, house Simon the leper, there came unto him a woman having an alabaster box, very precious ointment, poured it on his head as he said, I meet. When his disciples saw it, they had indignation, saying, To what purpose is this waste? For this ointment might have been sold for much and given to the poor. When Yahweh Shai understood, he said unto them, Why trouble you the woman? For she had wrought a good work upon me. For you have the poor always with you, but me have not always. For in that she had poured this ointment on my body. She did it for my burial. Verily I say unto you, wheresoever this gospel shall be preached in the whole world, there is also this that this woman had done be told for a memorial of her. And with that, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Peace, salutations to the hopeful elect scattered abroad across the four corners of the earth, learning and teaching this gospel with truth and sincerity. Shalom.